Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited. And Spidey, and this is the Cookies Be Meta. If you don't know what the Cookies Be Meta is, it's basically a segment where me or Kisame will take an old art type or something recent or something super old, and we will create five fantasy support cards, and then we will discuss with this fantasy support, would this art type now be good or would it be garbage? And who's there for it to decide? It's for you to decide. So don't forget, if you like this type of stuff and you want to see it continue, like the video and comment down below. Likes. Other suggestions for other things you want to see, but now he's going to do it from the title of the video. We can see that we are doing the, the archetype that I don't know of because I'm just now learning. The archetype I'm going to do a Could This Be Meta on is Fortune Ladies. Ah! Oh, you bastard! That's what I'm doing! No, I'm lying. <laughs> no, but it was dead ass one that I was like, when I was at work today and I was like, from the last night to now, I was like, I want to do Fortune Ladies. I'm like, no. Anthony's going to do Fortune Ladies. At if he's going to do one, he's going to fucking do Fortune Ladies. So, no. I had to do something else. But yeah, I'd like to say that I hopefully I did the deck right. I made one monster, one spell, and three traps. Which is something very different. I always do two... Two monsters, two spells, one trap. Yeah. The first card. Fortune Lady Divine. So she's divine. Yeah. Divine yeah. attribute. Level 7, divine, question mark, attack, question mark, defense, spell caster. How many, what level? 7. Okay. This card cannot be normal summoned or special summoned, only by banishing one fortune lady from your hand. This card's attack and defense are equal to its level times 500. During each of your standby phases, increase the level of this card by 1, max 12. So when she comes on the field, 3500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Once per turn, if this card would be targeted by an opponent's card effect, you could minus one level from fortune lady divine to negate and destroy that card's activation. If this card is sent to the graveyard, add up to two fortune ladies with different names from your banner zone back to your hand. I would have said from the deck's name. Why from the banner zone? Because a lot of the times they're you banished. You want to summon, they get banished. Because you want to know what it is? Fortune okay. ladies can really abuse cards like Dark Samorg, Dark Arm Dragon, and constantly can use cards oh, to like banish. Oh, they're permanently banished. I thought you yeah. might. Like, with Fortune Future, you know, yeah, cards like that. So you get up to two from your banish zone back to your hand. Mm -hmm. I was going to say Graveyard, but I thought it would be better to just... I thought it would have been better to just special summon from the banish zone, because since they get the abilities when they get special summon. That's but true. no, one thing I really like about that card, the fact that you gave it the whole ability to... Like, I can negate cards by getting rid of one of my levels that always gets adjusted. So I like that. That reminded me of Kaiju... Um, Game of Cell. Next card, normal spell card called Past Meets the Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a normal spell and its effect is target one face of Fortune Lady monster you control and double its level, max 12, because you can't go over 12. Yep. You can banish this card from your graveyard. If you control a face of Fortune Lady on your side of the field, banish the top and bottom cards of your deck. During your next draw phase, add both banished cards to your hand. But the deck is so terrible. Remember, this is a yeah, deck yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. not even top, like tier four. Yeah. This is just like an awful deck. So they, I'm not like pulling any punches tier with 17. them. Tier <laughs> seventeen. Effect is if a fortune lady's level increases by one in its continuous trap card. Mm -hmm. If a fortune lady's level increases by one this turn, increase its level by an additional two levels to its current level max twelve. During your end phase, if you don't control a face of future visions, you can add one from your deck. Graveyard or Banish Zone to your hand. One Future Vision? Yeah. When do you activate this card? Because you said it's a counter. Do you activate no, it's a win? continuous. I mean, oh, oh. Continuous. Or a counter. I'm like, well, when the fuck do you activate this? Yeah, but it's a continuous. So during each end phase, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So you constantly are put in a position where yeah, you like have their... Yeah. So you have their field spell always. Yeah, it works. I like the field spell. The field spell fuck the opponent's place. Let's so at the same time, and it's like, oh, an additional one level. So now, they instead of going up one level per turn, they go up Two. three. Oh. Because the one that they naturally do to an additional two more. Okay. So three. Fortune's Crystal Ball. Its uh, effect is when a monster would be normal or special summoned to your opponent's side of the field while you control a face of Fortune Lady, you can banish this card and one face of Fortune Lady monster you control to banish every card your opponent controls. So if your opponent normal or special summons a monster and you control a Fortune Lady, you banish that trap card, the counter trap card, called crystal ball along with one fortune lady banish them both and banish everything your opponent controls so the cost of the card is the card itself it's the card itself along with a fortune lady it's them together going to the banish oh, so zone you're banishing the fortune lady yeah that's already okay i thought you were just banishing itself i'm like wait what yeah that wouldn't make sense yeah. but banishing <laughs> itself and a fortune yeah, lady sense. and banish everything your opponent yeah, controls i said to myself that that's sense. insane but at the same they need something that they have no destruction outside of Fortune Lady Fire. They need to be like, 
fuck your board. And that's something I said, you know what, I'll just give them one of the best trap cards in the game. And if people are like, but that's not fair, that's broken. That deck is so terrible, they need something that's like, eradicate everything. Yeah. Lastly is Fortune's Payback. Normal trap card, and its effect is pay half your life points to target up to three fortune ladies with different names in your graveyard and special summon those targets to your side of the field in face-up attack position. Remove all special summon monsters during your end phase. So you lose all your cards that you special summon that turn, but the moral of it is that I had made them have their own version of return from the different dimension, but for the graveyard. So that you special summon them, they get off effects like so winds, water, fire. <laughs> it's like Hysteric Party meets like return from the different dimension. If something like this was made, the deck would be dramatically better, and it's up to Konami to see that, you know, it's not like a dead arch type that will always remain dead because any deck could get support and become good if given. Mm -hmm. So that's my opinion of it. Like, what would you say about my support? Anything you say would be bad or good well, I think or better? It would be meta. It's always hard because I always feel like we never meet. I don't support. think it's fast enough. That's understandable. I can I, see it as a tier two. That would make it a really great tier two. Well, I'll be happy to take that. Really Not meta, but two. I'm happy to take Almost it. in the same pace where like Atlanteans are right now. That's good. Where they're really good, but it's like, what the fuck Atlanteans gonna do against the Draco Pals? Like, nothing. <laughs> They'll sit down and get fucked. That's what you about to do, fam. Banish the scales. Woo. Yeah, exactly. But whatever. But hopefully, like I said, hopefully, guys, you like it. Banish the scales is such a good... Like, Banish the cards is such a good... I still they, run Dark Law. Dark Law, even though he's out of fucking elements right here, but his ability... It's very light. Mm. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like the video. 800 likes and you will see another. Could this be better? Comment down below your thoughts on what you think of this. On his support and other art sites you would like to see. You would discussing. like to see him do his. Could this be better? You don't see it anyway. So I'm going to do it right now. Let's go, guys. Wait, well, hey, guys. me, Spidey. <laughs> All right. So leave your comments below. Me and Spidey upload every Sunday, Saturdays, Tuesday, and Monday. You said the day is all fucked up. I know. I did that on Get purpose. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. <laughs>